October 7th, Our Lady of the Rosary. The feast day of Our Lady of the Rosary was instituted by St. Pius V in commemoration of the victory of the Battle of Lepanto on October 7th, 1571. In this battle, Don Juan of Austria defeated the Ottoman Turks in a great sea battle. Had he failed, all of Christendom would have been open for the Ottoman Turks to sack. Then, in the year 1716, the feast was extended to the entire church in thanksgiving for the defeat of the Muslim Crescent in Hungary. The devotion of the Rosary was revealed to St. Dominic by Our Lady. Although it came from a private revelation, the praying of the Rosary was extended to the entire Catholic Church and was considered by St. Louis de Montfort as the characteristic devotion of predestined souls. Before modernism crept into the Catholic Church, the habits of many religious orders had rosaries that hung on their cinctures, and good Catholics used to carry the rosary with them all day. It was considered not only an item for counting the Hail Marys, but a blessed object, the seal of a special liaison of the person with Our Lady. Many times the mere physical presence of the rosary would repel the devil and attract special graces. It became the classic religious object to fight against the devil. The practice of praying the rosary to beg a grace from God supposes the theological truth that Our Lady is the universal mediatrix of all graces. It is, therefore, a small masterpiece of spirituality and Catholic doctrine as they should be understood. The rosary is not a religious custom relying on emotions, but rather a serious, solid, and meditative pious practice, which explains why the rosary has obtained so many graces. It is therefore very valuable to meditate on the mysteries of the rosary because for each decade one contemplates a different thing with its special graces. There are particular graces for the mystery of the Annunciation, others for the agony in the garden, yet others associated with the ascension of our lord each one of the decades has its special graces and the person who meditates on all of them attracts to his soul the ensemble of graces from the lives of our lord and our lady we know that the victory at the battle of lepanto was achieved when saint pius v interrupted a meeting with cardinals at the vatican and went to a window and started to pray the rosary he was deeply concerned for the future of the church, as it was being decided in those Mediterranean waters as he prayed. After the pontiff finished praying the rosary, he returned to the meeting and told the cardinals that the Catholic fleet had been victorious. That is, he had a revelation while he was praying the rosary. It was the way Our Lady showed him that she linked the victory to his praying of the rosary. Understanding this, St. Pius V instituted the Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary, which was extended to the whole church in commemoration for another great victory over the Mohammedans in 1716. The fact that this devotion is specially linked to victories over the enemies of the church in Christendom induces us to think that it will protect all those who fight against the enemies of the Catholic cause. It is a devotion that most probably will endure until the end of time, when the enemies of the church will be more dangerous than ever. When St. Alphonsus Liguri was already old, sick, and in a wheelchair, a lay brother used to wheel him around the cloister of his monastery in the evening so he could take some fresh air. Engaging the brother in conversation, St. Alphonsus asked him, Did you pray your rosary today? I don't remember, the brother said. Then let's pray it now, the saint said. But you already are so tired. What difference does it make if we don't pray the rosary for one day, protested the brother. St. Alphonsus answered, If I did not pray my rosary even for one day, I would fear for my eternal salvation. That is what a saint said. This episode teaches us that we should do precisely the same. The daily rosary is a great guarantee of final perseverance and fidelity for the times ahead when the prophecies of Fatima will be fulfilled. The victory in our everyday Lepanto is linked to the recitation of the rosary. Let us each ask Our Lady of the Rosary to bless this intention of saying the rosary daily and give us the grace to carry it out.